Hi everybody, Adam here. Um, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to create some follow me paths with banking. And banking is the idea that if you would roll a ball down this path, that it would stay on the path. So as it's coming around these corners and these angles, um, it needs to rotate the path and then the path needs to straighten back out. And it's trickier than it sounds. If we try to do this with the standard follow me, um, you might be able to pull it off in a bunch of sections, but um, it's really hard to get that path back to where it needs to be. There's some other plugins that will keep the path upright, but they don't do any banking at all. So coming up here with a little bit of a longhand solution, um, and it's definitely an area where a plugin would come in handy, but I'm just going to kind of show some of the logic here behind how I created that. I'm just going to draw an edge here, select that, and I'm just going to create a helix. I have some settings I've already set up here. I'm going to do a five foot radius. I'm going to do three laps, so that's three revolutions around this center axis, and there's going to be 20 segments per lap. So the whole helix then would have 60 segments in it total. And we'll go ahead and create that. And there we go. You can explode it. You can see up here in the entity info we have 60 segments and it's also 96 feet and 1 8 inch. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to draw an edge here. Select it. And I'm going to paste in that measurement there. So now we have an edge that is the exact length of this helix here. Now we also have 60 segments. I'm going to divide this up with divide into 60 segments and I'm going to mark those vertices. Now if I measure one of these segments here, we see it's 1 foot 7 and 3 sixteenths. It should be the exact same as each segment here in our helix. So we have 60 total and what we need to do is we need to figure out what is a half lap. So if a full lap would be 20 segments, because um, there's three in this total. So a half lap would be 10 segments. And what that's telling us is that whatever this profile is, and I'm just going to use perpendicular face tools here and drop in a square. And just resize this, snap that in there. And let's create our tube here. And I'm just going to close this temporarily. But so every 10 segments here, and let me just mark these vertices, it's going to take us directly over to the halfway point. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this point over here is where this, um, oops, this profile is going to be upright again. And then here it's going to bank, and then here it's going to be upright. And the next 10 segments, it's going to have to be upright again. But it's also going to be upright and perpendicular to the edges that it's attached to. So if you would do this manually, you would have to rotate each segment in three directions to get this to work as you're coming up. So um, we came up with another solution to do this, and I'm going to use the Shape Bender plugin. But first, we need to create the uh, mesh to be for Shape Bender to um, bend around this helix. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab our profile here. Make sure I have it at the end point. I'm going to bring it over here to this edge. And what I need to do is figure out the angle between these segments. So, I'm going to use the Protractor tool. And I'm just going to go click here and click here. And we can see in the measurements we have 9 degrees. So what we need to do is we're going to rotate this 9 degrees. And we, But we don't want to do this over and over and over. So we would rotate this up 9 degrees. And we could come and do the next one 18 and do the next one whatever 9 and <laughs> 27 and just keep on going and adding, you know, or just copy the one before it and go 9 more, 9 more, 9 more, 9 more. And go.
go all the way down, but we don't want to keep doing that endlessly either. The idea here again is we want this at this tenth one, this has to be back upright. So in order to do that, let's delete that, we would move this over 10 segments. So I uh, just want to make sure that's sitting on there perpendicular, which it's not. Um, so let me just grab this and flatten this out here. I'm just going to use um, vertex tools here. And flatten this out on the x-axis here. Okay, and now snap that there. Okay, so let's move this over. Let's say Six, seven, eight, nine, say to there. This needs to be upright again. So, and then and just visually here, I'm trying to snap to that. should take us to the end okay so what's in between we need to figure out these steps and over here we measured our degrees between these and that was nine degrees so we're gonna have to go nine degrees nine degrees nine degrees nine degrees and then we're gonna have to start coming back to get back here to where we need to be in the center again. At the tenth one, we need to be upright. So we're going to use a plugin called Memory Copy to make this a little bit easier. And this has to be a component. So I'm going to convert these into components here. And I'm going to move it one segment. And now we're going to rotate this nine degrees this way. And I'm going to go to the first one here, go down to play it again. And Click on the child instance. And just do that a couple times there. And we're going to do the same thing from here. So now we're going to come over here. And let's rotate this. Nine degrees this way. there's where it starts to match up so now what we can do is just grab these and I'm just going to move them over to here And we're going to move them over to here. And that's it. So this is essentially the flattened or stretched out version of the helix um, along the path, or the path that would follow this helix with banking. So what I'm going to do is get in here, I'm going to delete that edge. So now we just have these edges here, and I'm going to select all of these, and they were all instances, so I could just use selection toys, select all instances, and I'm going to run Curvy Loft here, it's there's 61 components, it'll go and find every one of those and it's counting up to 61 and now it's there and it'll go ahead and skin this for us and I'm 
to simplify this a little bit. Let's go down. Maybe drop these segments down. And if you wanted it smoother, you could do um, adjust your, your segment count, but just so it's a little bit quicker here, we're just going to lower that down to one, and we're going to accept that. So here we have this kind of ribbon-ish thing here. And we could take it even at this point. If you wanted to add some thickness, you could come in here with joint push pull and add that. Um, I'm going to skip that for now just because I want to speed this up a little bit. So now I'm going to grab the what we just created here with Curvy Loft and move that over. I'll select all these and move those over. And I need an edge here that is the same. So I'm just going to grab from let's see the center here. All the way down, keep it on the red axis to the center point there. And this one's divided, so we can't use this for shape bender. So I'm going to delete all these guides. Now this should be welded, and it is. We can select our group or component here, and I'm just going to go to Chris Fulmer Tools, Shape Bender. And we're going to select our edge here underneath that, again, is the same length as this. And this will make sure that all of our segments match up. And we're just going to run or select our helix here. And looks like it matched up right the first time. I'm just going to hit Enter. And there we go. Sitting in there perfectly with banking. see that if we were to run our ball down that, that it should stay in there as it's coming around. And you could play with that and adjust, um, do that same thing, adjust the angle if you wanted to decrease the banking a little bit. Um, if you were doing some physics stuff and the ball was falling out, you could tweak that. But for the most part, I think that should keep that in there and be exactly um, what we'd be looking for. So that's the rundown on how I did that. And I hope that was helpful overall. Um, I could share this model as well. I'll put the link in the description. And we'll see you in the next video. Hope everybody has a great day.